One day, a huge mutant zombie attacked JJ's family. He came in and started destroying their house while JJ's family tried to escape. They realized that their house was broken and it made them very upset. But it wasn't just JJ's family that was hit by the mutant invasion. Mikey's family was also attacked by zombies and their home was destroyed. This left both families homeless and forced to flee. Mikey's family had no choice but to watch their home destroyed. We need new houses, JJ, and we need them to be protected from zombies. Yeah, you're right. Let's start building our new houses so we don't have to sleep on the outside. Here are the blocks let's start building. I agree that sleeping outside the house will not be a good thing. We were lucky to find such a nice place. Yes, the place is very flat and beautiful. It's a good place to build. It's a good thing we have a place where we can build. Now let's get started. I'm gonna build a beautiful white house. The important thing is that the zombies can't get to us afterwards. In any case, I first want to make the house beautiful, and then we will already strengthen it. The main thing that now we can live in it. We need to make a nice mold to make the whole house look good afterwards. I wonder how Mikey's doing. It looks like he decided to do the base of the house at home right away, but I think it would have been better if he had done the mold first, like I did. Probably need to focus on my house to get it done faster, need to get it done before nightfall to stay warm. I'm already starting to like the result I'm getting, looks like I'm really good at building houses. And we'll be all white, just like I've always wanted to be, some perks of losing the house. It would look really cool with that grid. Building my own house is such a fun thing to do. I hope it's not interrupted by another zombie coming to destroy my new home. Where did these zombies come from anyway? And why did they choose to break our homes? I hope it's just an accident and not someone specific wanted to destroy our homes and set them on us. Okay, I won't think about the bad stuff. I'm getting a great house. I'm sure it's going to be really cool to live in. Hi, Mikey. How's the construction of your house going? It's all good, JJ. I just came by to see how you were doing. How do you like what I built? Do you like it? I like it a lot. Yeah, looks very interesting, JJ. <laughs> hmm. Hey, why are you holding a TNT in your hand? What do you think, JJ? No, don't get in my way, Mikey. Go away with your TNT. I don't want you blowing up my house. <laughs> Stop it, Mikey. Stop bothering me and go build your house. I'm not bothering you. I think it's fun. I just got bored building my house and I thought I'd interrupt you a little bit. Is that so? Then I'm gonna get in your way too. I'll go do something with your build too then. <laughs> I'll fill your house with blocks of dirt since you're doing this to my house. Oh no, you don't have to blow up my whole house. I spent so much time building it. Oh, come on, JJ. Build again. You like building, don't you? Go away, Mikey. I'm really upset because you broke everything. Okay, I'm gonna leave for now. Stupid Mikey's ruining everything for me again. I don't think he's even built much of anything in that time. Well, I'll keep building before he notices I'm watching him and comes to bother me again. What are those sounds? Is this Mikey's doing something else? It sounds like it's coming from underneath. Is he digging a tunnel to my house? Oh man, he's messing with me again. He can't let me build in peace. Hey Mikey, what are you doing digging a tunnel to my house? Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna get to JJ's house now. Oh, and you're already here, JJ. I'm making a tunnel to your house. I don't need your stupid tunnels. Stop stopping me from building or I'll blow up your house. <laughs> you don't seem to get it in a good way. Then I'll show you what you should have thought about first. Apparently, he doesn't realize I have a cool new TNT. Now I'm gonna test it out on Mikey's house. Hmm. He showed up great, so he's gonna see the explosion. I'll put it right in the middle. That way, I'll hit the most with the explosion. That's great. This is what your house needs, Mikey. That's for getting in my way all the time. You're evil, JJ. It's not like I blew up your house that hard. All right, the first floor is ready. Now we need to make a kitchen so we have a place to cook. I've got to arrange everything so it's easy to cook. It'll make cooking more enjoyable. And it's important to still remember to set out all the important things to cook. So I still have a toaster to put in and another dining room cabinet and now can go try out the pool. All right, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Now we're good to go. It's finally fashionable to relax a little in the pool and unwind. Building a pool was a great idea. 
Good thing I built it right away. I haven't heard from Mikey in a while. Is he up to something again? Is he already building a layer of defense? I gotta get up there to get a better look at what he's doing. Looks like he's making a lava trap. I wonder if such a small lava river could protect him. Hey Mikey, you think that lava's gonna protect you from that zombie? Why'd you come in here, Mikey? I just wanna look around from here. Get down from there, Mikey. You wanna look around, make yourself a tower. I knew you'd start trying to troll me again. I'm sick of you, Mikey. Stop interrupting me. You just don't know how to have fun, JJ. There's nothing funny about what you're doing. You're just in my way. I, on the other hand, am having a lot of fun doing this. So the problem is you're just boring. Yeah, you flooded my whole house with lava and now I have to clean it up. And you say it's because I'm boring. I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time cleaning it up. At least my house isn't made of wood. Well, on the plus side, I didn't have to find lava to protect the house. Well, now I'm done with this trap. Hey Mikey, look, I got lava around the house now too. Now all sorts of little monsters will definitely not be able to get to me. Congratulations, JJ, but I have a new defense against enemies. I'll show you. Well, show me what's so new. Okay, just give me a couple minutes to set it up. All right, call me when it's ready. Hopefully there won't be another prank on me that I have to rebuild the house after. You can go now, JJ. It's all set. Whoa, what are these new laser traps? Cool. With these, almost no one can get to us. Do you want to try them out on yourself? No, I'm going to come at this from the other side. Good decision, JJ. You wouldn't have gotten away unscathed if you'd gone through them. Here you go. You can put it anywhere you want. Thank you. How do you like my house, by the way? You have an awesome house, JJ. Especially cool that you have a pool. Glad to hear you like it. I worked hard on it. And a pool is a great thing in general. I don't know how I used to live without it. Okay, I've got some chores to finish up. Organizing things and stuff like that. Okay, while I take a little swim in your pool, JJ. So need to finish the bedroom to make it all comfortable and pretty. And we should probably deal with the lasers so they don't just stand there for nothing. Hey, Dad, you built a cool house. It's even better than our last one. Glad to hear you like him too. Just need to sort out all the furniture in this room and it will be perfect. And we need to put on a TV. Good thing I had time to get it out of the old house. You are such a good dear. So well done on our new home. It really is even better than our last house. I'm so glad you're both enjoying our new home. Great, all the home defense is done. Now no one can get near my house. I can now sit in peace knowing that I am very well protected. I'll add a couple more things for protection, and I think I'll be done with traps at this point. I don't think anyone's gonna get to it, but I'll put them here just in case. And I'll cover them with a special trap so no one will notice. That way my house will be super secure. Great. Now anytime I want to, I can open these traps, and whoever comes to me will fall right into them. Everything works as I need it to. Now I can close everything down and add them on the other side of the house. The main thing is to make sure they're all closed so that no one accidentally falls and gets hurt now. Well, it's still open. I'd better be careful. I wouldn't want anyone to fall in it. Great now, I'll deal with this side so they can't get in from here either. It's better to have a lot of protection and not need it than not enough and I'll get caught. So everything's in place now. I just need to make sure I've closed all the hatches and I think that's pretty much the end of my home defense work. Although, if you think about it, you could add a fence to slow down those who might want to come to my place. Where would be the best place to put it? This would probably be a good place. This is where it'll stand. Great, now my house is definitely protected and my work is done. I'm gonna go see how Mikey's doing. Hey Mikey, how are you doing with building and fortifying your house? Well, I made the lava river wider. Now even the monsters will get into it more. Great. Did you do anything else? Or is that all the defense you have so far? I think I've had enough of this defense. I don't think anyone can get to me through all this. Well, if that's what you think. Well, my house is all done and I can finally enjoy it. I wonder what's up with Mikey. I've come to test your defense that you're so proud of. Go ahead and check the times you came. I'm sure even you won't find it easy to beat it. Now I'm gonna show you that your defense isn't as tough as you think, JJ. <laughs> and here you are falling right into my trap. And you said I had a bad defense. 
It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought I'd test her strength. I'm sure my defense can withstand anything, even a whole crowd of zombies. Where have you run off to again? Would you stop just running around my house, Mikey? I'm interested to see all the defenses you've decided to use in your home. All right, you can watch, but don't break anything. I just set it up, and I don't want to do it again. Did you even decide to check out the lava, and how does it work the way you thought it would? Ha ha ha! Very funny, JJ! I accidentally fell in it! Come here, I'll show you something else you'll love! Is this how you want to trap me? Of course not, Mikey! Don't be afraid to follow me! <laughs> I can't believe you fell into that trap so easily! You're so easily fooled! I would never get caught the same way! I've checked several times, and I was sure I'd closed all the hatches! Okay, now I'm definitely gonna keep a close eye on those hatches. But the way Mikey fell in there, it's still pretty funny. So, Mikey, how do you like the defense of my house? I think it's gonna be hard for the enemy to get in here. Now show me your house, I never got to see the inside. How do you safely enter your home? Well, you wouldn't let me in my house, so I'm not gonna try to come in on my own. Okay, you can get a bucket of water to go in, just don't get all the lava. Are you always going to come home like this? It's very inconvenient. It doesn't matter, as long as no one can get in. Okay, whatever you say. Now I want to see what the inside of your house looks like. Come and see. My house is small, but it's very cozy. Yeah, it's nice, but there's not a lot of room. Maybe you should make a second floor. I'll think about it, but it's not like I have as many blocks as you. And since you had so many, you might as well share. Well, I didn't know you had so few blocks, and you didn't ask me for any. How was I supposed to know you didn't have enough? Come on, let's go to my place. I just put in a new thing that you can dance on. Let's go have some fun. Come on, Mikey. I've already shown you how easy it is to jump on me without hitting the trap. Why do I go to you again and get caught in the lava? Let me into the pool so I can stop burning. Why do you have to break blocks? You couldn't just go around and take the stairs. It would take the same amount of time. Well, I'm sorry I was burning up and didn't think of your favorite glass fence. All right, no offense. Come on, I'll show you my new dance game. The rules are very simple. You have to step on the right arrows to the beat of the music. I think you'll quickly understand. Try it out. Wow, this game is fun. What else you got here? Well, out of interest, I have a computer, but I use it for work. Also, the chairs here are super comfy. Too bad you don't have games on these computers so we could play. Yeah, unfortunately all the games are on the computer in the old house. I didn't bring them back here. Well, you could have taken them, of course. We'll have nothing to do now. Well, I'm sorry, Mikey, for trying to save my life. Well, it's getting late. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. Good night, dear. What's that noise outside? It sounds like zombies. Oh man, they're here already. They didn't even let me sleep. At least we had time to get ready. Gotta go help Mikey. Did such a large crowd of them come at once? Yeah, there's a lot of them coming in at once. You can help me already. I've been running from them for so long and you've been asleep the whole time. Hey, why are you taking them to my territory? I thought you said it couldn't miss a bunch of zombies. So let's check it out. Yeah, you're right. That's what I said. But these zombies can't do anything to me while I'm on my own turf. They don't stand a chance. Let's go to my house and make sure everything's okay. Well, let's go and check it out. Do you think they could have gotten into your house? Hey, is everything okay in here? You weren't attacked? No, we're good here. They haven't come to us. We're protected here. Well, I'm glad you're doing well here. Let's go check on my family now. Don't worry, JJ. I think they're fine. We were right next to them, so they weren't likely to get hurt. Hey, how's it going in here? It's okay, don't worry. Nobody got to us. All right, everything's fine here too, Mikey. We seem to have fought off those zombies, and we're fine. Finally, we can take a break and not think we're going to be attacked. You're right, Mikey. Finally, we can relax a little bit. I'm glad my house is so secure. Yes, the defense of your home is very good indeed. I'll have to get some ideas from you. With a defense like that, defeating a bunch of zombies is a breeze. I thought you were hit by zombies, so take the golden apple and you'll be healed in no time. Oh no, it's that mutant zombie. He found us after all. We have to stop him from breaking our homes again. 
Yeah, we need to deal with him before he goes to our houses. He's very strong. Let's try to lure him to the laser so he takes a lot of damage. I'm taking him to laser, JJ. Hopefully that will slow him down and he'll take a lot of damage. Looks like we can't beat him that easily. We'll have to beat him ourselves. He's not so easy to hit, he throws back with his attacks. You're right, Mikey. We're gonna have to come up with something to beat him. You have to move him around on the laser so he takes a lot of damage. That's the easiest way to defeat him. I'm afraid he might break your house like that. I think we've almost defeated him. Let's beat him with swords. All right, Mikey, I'll help you. I think it's better to lure him to the laser and he'll break the house down a little bit, but we'll beat him quicker. What, that's it? Mikey, we won, yay. We were able to beat him. Great, now we don't have to worry about our homes being destroyed anymore. Now we have nothing to be afraid of, hooray. <laughs>